Something crazy is about to happen. Buckle up, kiddos. the body. So I was in the other dimension. What does she have to say? Conway didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead clerk. Was he dead? Or was it all fiction? Alright. Prepare the decorative plate on the boiler. All right, well, let's go do that. But that was really cool. It was a seamless transition that I didn't even realize it happened until I walked around the corner and saw the enemy standing there. Not only are they doing abrupt transitions like the past couple ones, but also very subtle ones. So you never really know when it's going to happen. Looks like some kind of rot. We're still missing one more piece. Oh, that's right. We're still missing one more piece because the other one an on display in Cassandra's room. Let's go to Cassandra's room, I guess. Okay, so we have the sitting room key. To go to the sitting room, unlock the sitting room, go to Cassandra's room and get the final piece. Okay. Alright, we're back on track. Let's do this. What happens if I go back in the kitchen? She locked me out! Rude. Alright, sitting room, here we go. Already finding cool stuffs. There's something missing. What? Huh. That's cool. So I'll need to find that piece too. Ooh, there's nowhere to be found. I wonder why the lady said to keep an eye on the kid. Does she this really cause that? This must be that kid's problem? room. Why does she seem so familiar? Oh, that's right. He did mention that back in the second episode. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Does she really cause that many problems? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Who is Ruth? Is she the lady in the wheelchair? If that starts rocking, I'm shooting it. Mm -mm, nope. Nah. -uh. Huh. <laughs> that is creepy. Oh, it's a lanyard. All right, well, we investigated this room.
What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Interesting. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. I know her from somewhere, but she Why hasn't said. Why did that girl look so familiar? Detective Comby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze. A haze which now had turned almost opaque. Considering their shared past, Grace had every right to feel slighted. But it wasn't in her nature. She was amused. Like, I know her from somewhere, but I don't know what it is. And what is her story again? Oh, she's just the troublemaker. So this so is where here. Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. There's more of that rot again. Like it's guiding me to do something. But what? I don't think I have everything I need. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Ooh, is that going to be another <laughs> teleportation point? Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. So for one of the bottles of medicine, I need to go to Lottie's box. Okay. Oh, it's another it's puzzle. Another one of those strange padlocks. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> so this is that author lady. No, we'll get the last one when we get Lottie's box open finally. How do we get into Lottie's box? Let's look through our notes and stuff. Okay, uh, Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. So we go to the grand parlor. And to get to the grand parlor, we gotta go through the stairwell where we saw that bed hanging. Okay, cool. So let's head back over there. I really hope that doesn't, like, fall down on me later on. We need to get the attic key like as soon as possible because now I'm curious. I need the key. I don't have the key to it, but could I jump down? No, let's not test that yet. I should be on the right floor for the, yep, the grand parlor.
Oh. Okay, we're right below it. So I gotta try to find this key somewhere down here. I wonder if she's still sitting up there. She's not. Is that the key? Oh, that's the last piece of the thing. This is secret knowledge, I think. Or the forbidden knowledge. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was of course no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. I forgot that it read itself. Okay, okay. So that's what it is. You just collect stuff and then all of a sudden, you just... The lone and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming. And you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. Okay. So the retaliation of the kids being kidnapped on the property. Hey! Now I can go back to Lottie's room. After we finish investigating in here. So can we get into the dining room from here? No. There's more of that aggressive rot. I've noticed that sometimes it just did it. Like where if you look at something, it will slowly zoom in. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, Whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Ooh, she said the title. That was a really cool poem. I like it. What the hell is that thing? Please don't do anything creepy. Okay, we're good. That's where that led. Cool. Let's grab this bottle from Lottie and then take it to Cassandra's room. Dr. Jenkins lozenges. One of several medicines prescribed by the author Cassandra Beauregard, this particular bottle contains tablets that relieve sore throats and contain two vital vitamins. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Well, to unlock the thing, of course, and gain access to the, the boilerplate thingy. 
two. Let's get to work. Oh, you can rotate them, okay. the shape of a snake there must be something important to find here maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels two five seven so if i go back and look at i have to look at the people so pisces is two three four gemini five six virgo so pisces gemini virgo two m h Looks like some type of farm. So now we go repair the boiler plate. Oh, I wonder where it's gonna take us. Oh, Mr. Boiler Plate. Okay, now let's solve this problem. Puzzle. Ooh, I had to move and rotate these. So let's put them all right side up first. And then this piece goes down here. And this one goes up here. Yes. That's cool. Okay, so <laughs> I like that. It breaks the boiler, and the boiler tells you what numbers to type in. So the big one's going to be nine, the middle one's going to be seven, the little one's going to be five. Nine, seven, five. Here we go. Black Wait, glass. Is that the cellar? Another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. I don't like that. So the cellar is our next point. That's new. Yeah, because the kitchen door isn't... You can't see through it. And the, oh. oh. We're already in the memory. That was... Yet again, subtle. The old cemetery. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. Yeah, probably. This is cool. This is really cool. How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? So in the Lafayette Cemetery. What is here? This is very eerie. Ooh, which way do I go? The 
the Hartwoods family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. So this is where her whole family is buried. Alright. Oof, that blinded. I wonder who's here. We saw Batiste the first time, then we saw Lottie. So I wonder who we're gonna see here. There's a throwable. Ooh, shotgun shells. Nice. Gotcha. Alright, so they're just gonna start shambling out of nowhere. Shotgun, I haven't used that yet. I want to. That a door and some symbol. The blessing, a rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. What's this? Now what do we got here? <sighs> got it. That's it. That was simple. Ooh, that's a pretty statue. This here's my boomstick. something new it was the chapel Jeremy had mentioned in his book with a bit of luck soon Combi would be able to catch up with the old man he just needed to find a way inside the chapel I need three things it seems three symbols Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book so it must be important looks like I'll need more medallions to open it though I don't think I have everything I need. I probably shouldn't have thrown wine at the door. <laughs> I was ready to shoot. So we got one down there. Come over here real quick. More bullets. Oh my god, why was he running at me? Guns reloaded. Ooh, I can hear 
one from across the fence? No, I can't. Well, I probably could have, but I missed. To be honest, the light's kind of making things worse. I need a drink after that, too. Alright, dude's dead. So, shotgun is going to be very important. Don't waste them on the little guys. Oh, I wonder if we're going to see that beastie again. Oh, do we got those digger guys again? All right. Okay, now we don't need to sneak around. Finish up that weapon on him just so I don't have to worry about wasting it and you no, know, don't have to worry about an enemy wandering out if we have to go back. This is where that big guy was until I throw a rock and he noticed me. Ooh, am I got to squeeze through there? <laughs> 